We count down to Election Day, many of you are expressing anxiety, even fear about possible violence erupting Tuesday night. A recent poll published by USA Today and Suffolk University found 75% of Americans are concerned about civil unrest. Team 12's Josh Sanders joins us now with more on what people can do to deal with election-related stress. Yeah, three out of four voters concerned over one of the most divided and contentious elections in modern day history. But one mental health expert we spoke with says it's OK to be concerned over what could happen Tuesday. We just need to be realistic. Saturday may be Halloween, but this year, Election Day could be considered the greatest scary movie in the history of American politics. The nation, a tinderbox with the heat of a global pandemic, protest over racial injustice and a divisive presidential election on the horizon. When you use your power, the power of the vote. Get out and vote. Get out there right away, right away, right? A recent poll suggests many Americans fear that vote will lead to violence on Election Day and the days following. That's what a lot of people are experiencing. And anxiety, by definition, is concern about future events. Valley psychiatrist Dr. Robert Portley says it makes sense for people to be afraid. I think that it reflects a very prevalent sense of uncertainty that has accumulated over the last seven months. Police in Phoenix, Scottsdale and Mesa are preparing for any unrest. Dr. Portley says it's best for voters to focus on their own actions to ease any concerns. Do as many things that you identify as caring for yourself and leave the rest behind. If it's helpful, keep doing it. If it's not helpful, let it go. From a mental health perspective, I think it's really important to focus on the things that we can control. And with just a few days until polls close, Dr. Portley says one thing voters can control is who they vote for. In Phoenix, Josh Sanders, 12 News.